All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai Nine Twenty Two. Okay, I got a shock. Um, yesterday. Well, just now, just now. This is uh, gonna be Kenichi. This is starting to with Kenichi. Came out Saturday, so it's gonna be like two days late. Big deal. Um. Okay, I don't know how this happened. Maybe what it was was that. The chapter we got this month was actually for the previous month. And that's why we're getting it this month. Oh, God. A comic got hero chapter came out. What? Two chapters in one month. I'm like... That is way too much hype. Way too much hype. Um... Nothing... I will do the review of that also with... It seems also another thing came out... The fall, the fall, the fall, chapter three. This was a little bit better chapter. Um, and like I said, I will get to it later tonight. Hopefully. Not Tuesday's news. But I will get to them later tonight. Yeah, Monday night. Um, and I should let everyone know, Comic Guy Q chapter had a message at the end. About something. I will get into it in a video later tonight. More importantly, Kenichi. Wow, this chapter. I'm gonna give this a four to five. This was chapter um, 551. Sextant. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure most people know what a sextant is. And I believe it's spelled S-E-X-T-A-N-T. -T. It's basically this device you use to map your coordinates for, you know, like celestial navigation. Of the stars. Basically, that was the day of the chapter. You, you, you get the gist of what 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 it meant. Uh, later on, but yeah, we got chapter five fifty one sextant. Um, we got we're going back to Shigure. I mean, last week we had you know them trying to kidnap Shigure, uh, Kenichi and Miyu, and you know Akisame and Saki fighting them and taking them to the house. Um, and here we have Shigure again in the you know, the, the headquarters, um, being forced to make swords. And she, she's funny. Shigure is such a troll. I just love her. She's so funny. She's hilarious. She's just hilarious. She, she's unbelievably hilarious with what she says and does um, in History Storm Subject. But basically, that pervy bastard guy, you know, is telling her, make the swords, make the swords. Um, and she's not making swords. <laughs> she's making sporks, and she made this this pig. Yeah, like this 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 pig bank or something. And then one guy finds, oh, she made a sword. She's made up by the real sword, and the sword. You know that sword is like it's like strong and steady. It's like the sword that is wavy. It's like glimping. Oh, it's nasty. Uh, so the sword wasn't, she made it, it was a piece of crap, pretty much. And it's basically really soft and it's not, you know, you know, stiff. And one, this soldier guy goes up to the old man and decides to say, oh, we should just kill her. And he's like, shut up! You know, pretty much. And he's like saying that, you know, she's made few objects with normal hard metal, though we can't understand what they are. Her And saying that her building speed and vitality are amazing. Um, and he asks them, where are the men who were going to kidnap her disciple? And then, out of nowhere, the guy says, you just can't think of what? And it's just like, yo, Shigure, man. This is a scene where she just pounces it on these bastards. These soldier guys, like, like, yo. She's a boss, Shigure. I'm sorry. She's such a boss. I, I, listen. I don't know. I think I'd take Shigure over Urza. Just saying. Just saying. Because Shigure, she, she like plans out shit. You know, she's like really, you know, going in and just saying, okay, you know. She like plans out shit. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, she's ready to go out and, and you know, she's, 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 she has an iron burning red blade. Um, and then she uses the soft iron to attack these guys and she's just, just running around and everything. 
<laughs> uh, like saying, you know, how did you escape in the afternoon? And then the guy's saying, this is bad. Don't let her out. That's a sextant. I, I didn't understand what it meant because, um, um, I, it was very confusing. I thought, I thought like she's, they, they meant to say she's a sextant, but it, it's basically, she has this, it's basically this wavy thing that you go and you use to look up in the stars. It's like a miniaturized, um, telescope, except it has coordinates on it and you can map out where you actually are by using it. There's a whole explanation of it. I don't want to put a... I was going to put a description below, a link to, to a wiki of it, but I'll pass on that. But yeah, that's basically what she has, and she just goes out the window um, to try to shoot her, and they can't, and she's out there, and she's looking through it, and she's basically mapping out where she is via the stars. Um, and... They find her and they're they're asking, oh, should we kill her? Blah blah blah. She's just wearing some cloth. Catch her, um, and then they catch her. And it's another scene, yo. And she's like pervert maniac, pervert maniac. <laughs> and then the the scientist's like, shut up, just behave. You're just behaving like this because that's your debate's out here. You'll stay like that until you feel like cooperating again. So essentially. She then knows that 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 contraption she was when she first got there, you know those those um those hard like crystallized ball bearing things that are attached to her feet, and that she can't move pretty much. She's pretty much just is like that, and we go from that to Real Zanbaku. and we have Sakaki and Akisame and Kensei, and they're talking, and they're basically talking about the guy that they were meeting. And they were saying that he is a martial artist, supposedly. He, um, um, he's very good with martial artists, supposedly. And that's what they're basically saying to him. He's definitely a master level. Now, someone mentioned this in the manga here comments that Kenichi, they seem to be going in the route of key. You know, someone mentioned, I, thought, I saw it in the manga here comments. Someone might have said, Oh, they keep using key, and they they they've gone past the actual techniques of martial arts instead. I kind of see it that way, but I still think they they're not doing that. Basically, what that person meant was they're focusing more on key and less on the actual moves in martial arts. I don't believe that though. It, it's possible. It's true. But I still, I still think they're still focusing on it. Because they're teaching Kenichi Dolomomi. I just want to mention that. But anyway. Basically, they're telling he, he was... Taki's saying he's good at hiding his key. And, they're, and then Kensei's basically saying, well, who is this Kido person? He said to look for. Nothing at all. They don't know anything, um, basically. And Kenichi brings up the point that maybe we should ask Nejima. Nejima, you know, <clears throat> the, the demon posing as an alien. Um, and basically, he tells them, we found him. I'm like, damn, really? <laughs> it's funny enough. Oh, where, did, where did they go to find them? This person? Ah, uh, Facebook. <laughs> I find that funny. Oh, he also has a Twitter. And this, this was a funny chapter because I think it was one of um, Nejima's um, subordinates. Um... He says a funny line. He says, this is a scary era. <laughs> I was like, what? Um, and basically, they're basically saying, oh, there's value information, you know, depending on the source you don't. Um, and they basically say there's one person matching it. And no one else has that rare name. Um, and apparently, what Kenichi finds out while looking at the screen of the computer is that this person is not a martial artist. Not within martial arts. Um, saying that he's, that he's... Well, no, no, no. He says the profile doesn't say that he's a martial artist. So maybe he's from the government or so on and so forth. They thought he had something to do with martial arts. But they also find out he's a woman. So this isn't actually a man. This is a woman 
that they're going to come in contact with. Um, and then basically, you know, say, oh, I'll get her, you know. And he says, like, can you contact her? Uh, Kamioka. And he's like, yeah, like a gentleman boat air tractor and blah, blah, blah and stuff. And then we go back to Shigure. And apparently Shigure gave in and made a steel blade. That blade is very small. And I've already said it in the comment section below here. They're saying, that is for the mouse. Tachimaru to use. And I'm like, okay. Because, <laughs> I mean, we're already in this arc. We've seen him use a freaking machine gun. Say hello to my little friend. So, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Um, and basically saying it's really small, Professor. And then they basically taped um, her making the sword. And he's like saying, with this, the darkness refining technique will be reborn. She escaped again. And he's saying it's okay. She's not going to leave right away. She's just trying to confuse us. It will be good exercise for the soldiers. Um, and we don't allow her to contact any someone from outside. It won't be a problem. Also, the one shadow nine fists and the shooter blade will be back from war soon. Most likely what's happening here is Shiguri's planning. I'm going to say it right now. She's planning for a way to escape. Because that's why she stole that sexton thing. That's why she was looking up in the stars to find out exactly where her location is. And because now she kind of knows where it is, she might attempt to find a way to communicate to Kine with Kenichi and everyone else. But we don't know yet. It's hearsay. After that, we go to the actual war that's taking place. This scene, oh my god. I will say this about Yomi, the Nine Shadow Fists. Not a big fan of the Whippets team, but I am a big fan of this guy, Honko. Yo, this guy is the best. I don't care if he's a villain. He's my kind of villain. You know those villains? You know those guys that you know are kind of evil or so and so forth, but they have honor? That's what Kanako, right? Hongo reminds me of. Um, and basically what ends up happening, Michael, the guy with the scythe, tries to kill this woman and her child, and Hongo just grabs it with his two fingers, like, you know, and he's like, what are you doing? He's just basically telling him, uh, uh, Michael's telling him, we must kill all witnesses. <clears throat> and you know this plan was developed by the, your one shadow fit, your one shadow. And he's like, let it be, you're our ally, right? And he gives him a look like, you best... You best be stepping, motherfucker. You best be stepping. I'm not gonna allow you to kill innocent people. Get the fuck out of my way. I was like, yo, I'll go. I'll go. Cause him is is more of an honor bound thing. If he's fighting, if he's fighting a martial artist, he's gonna kill him. But if they're innocent civilians in a way, he's gonna tell him that's not happening. I I, I like that 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 about him. So pretty much, he's he's just saying that. And then on the bottom it says Discord between the darkness, barehanded, and weapon team. And that's in the chat. Overall, I liked it. Four out of five. The ending was pretty boss. Um, we got to see Shigure make some things. We found out a few things about what she's trying to do. So those were some good points there. I guess bad points would probably just be the fan service, but I mean, how can you say it's <laughs> Uh, I mean, I found it really weird that Shigure was doing this and Fairy Tale, Urza was strung up like this. <laughs> so we had back-to-back -back chapters this week of people, of girls, looking fine in a prison. In a prison cell. But, um, yeah, you know, pretty much I'm guessing what's going to go down for next week probably. They're going to find this person. And trying to find out what, where Shiguri really is. And Shiguri, I think, is going to attempt to, draw, to make something. Make some kind of device or <coughs> something. Some way to communicate to Kenichi and the others. And find out to, 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 to see where, you know, where she is and everything. And if the, if the, the Executioner Blade and One Shadow Knife Fists are coming back. Holy shit. And if there's this Discord now. Hunkle's like, you know, 
So I wonder what this is going to lead to. I wonder where this is going to lead to. Might lead to something interesting, but we have to wait on that. We have to wait and see if Kenichi and the guys and Rinzon Paku find this person, this girl, who knows what the story is, and so on and so forth. So, yeah. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys, Bonkai Night 22. This should be interesting for next week. I, um, I would like to see a fight, but I don't think we're going to get one. We might get one within the Yomi. But I don't know if we're going to get one with... I think we're just going to see them finding this woman and talking to her. But, yeah, that's pretty much the story. I'm Balkan 922 See you guys later. And like I said, comic Con hero. Oh, God. I got to review that later tonight, along with uh, Before the Fall, Chapter 3. I'll get it that done, and you guys will have it. I'm Balkan 922 I'll see you guys later. Shigure and Hongo. Two. Crazy characters. See ya.